Hey guys, what is the crack? My name is Sean, as you all know. Oh my god, I look sunburnt. Look at this burn. Ah. But you know what? It'll turn to town, so I don't really give a hoot. Guys, I'm going to react today to a new musical called, called Hades Town, The Myth, The Legend. It premiered off Broadway in 2016 at the New York Theatre Workshop, and it's based on a Greek myth. I know very little about it, but I am excited for it because I've heard it is... Um, Kind of like New Orleans jazz kind of music and there's a lot of buzz around it. It's going to uh, the West End, the National Theatre in 2019 with a projected and anticipated Broadway um, arrival date, like around probably going to be fall 2019. So without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into this reaction and let's see what the show is like. As the number is called Road to Hell. Oh, I already love that that trumpet or is it saxophone? I don't know. Just give it to me. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I really like it. Really like it. Singing. Remember, I said this before. If you can sing a song like real quick, if you can uh, mouth the words, like your songwriter, your composer, they're doing a great job. Straight off the bat. Song number two, Living It Up on the Top. I'm trying to like, um, compare it to another musical, and I don't know if I've found it quite yet. I guess the color purple, a little bit, but it's even that's a very faint connection. Oh, that voice, I know that voice. What's his name? What's his name? Oh, it's Reeve Carney. Reeve Carney, Spider Man, that's it, that's Reeve Carney. That's definitely, I'm gonna check right now, that's gotta be Reeve Carney. I know that voice. I'm excited for him, I thought he was very, I thought he was great in Spider Man. That's much to show, he is good. Number three, All I've Ever Known. Oh, it's different already from the. I was alone so long, I didn't even know that I was lonely. Out in the cold. It's gorgeous though. But it's definitely different to the first two songs. Like it's not the same. It sounds different. Like this song sounds very like commercial. Like this could be on the radio. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not very musical theater. That's not a, that's not a bad thing whatsoever. Like, but it just sounds like it's it's something like you know, like Dear Evan Hansen. Like not Dear Evan Hansen. Sorry, I'm thinking um, Great Showman. What's that song? This is me. Like that's me on the radio. So it's nice that. You can have a musical theatre song that can be heard on the radio by the general audience, and that totally sounds like that. Way Down Hates Town. Hates Town's the name of this show. Choo Choo Train. What's that called? Harmonica. Nice harmonica. Oh, yes. I'm so digging this show. Epic 2. I'm loving how it's kind of going back and forth between two different styles of music because I'm loving both sides chant chant Ah, oh. yes see what I mean? Like, there's nothing like this on Broadway right now there's nothing and I love when there can be a variety of shows on Broadway that are all very different because it gets boring when they're all quite similar or sound similar and there is examples of that it's clear this, the music is very much driving is driving the story and you know like a lot of musicals there's some examples of musicals where it's like there's a song there for like it doesn't develop a plot but this entire score so far sounds like it's constantly advancing the plot Hey Little Songbird again quite different from the previous it's like a third type of third style almost is this Patrick Page? Oh my god, Patrick Page plays Hades. Inspired casting. He's such a phenomenal actor. He was again great in Spider-Man. When the chips are down. I'm starting to get like a feeling that this is reminding me of something else. And I can't put my finger on what it's reminding me of. Gone, I'm gone. Or feel some Oh my heart, it aches I like it. Wait for me. 
Again, see what I mean? Like it's a whole different... It sounds totally different again, and I, I swear, I don't mean this in a bad way, but there's so much different types of music in, it, music in this. Or that sound different. you working on your masterpiece? Where is she? Brother, what do you care? Reeve Carey's voice is so beautiful. Why we build the wall. This is the act one close. The music has changed so much over the course of the first act already. I mean, I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say that they're in hell. Could be totally wrong, probably am. Oh, I don't like it's going. very intrigued. I like it. It's really good. Um, there's different types of styles throughout. It's, um, I feel like there's a little bit for everyone. There's nice little, you know, slower songs. There's, you know, big jazz music numbers, um, which very much works and ties into musical theatre. Um, so I'm enjoying it. I'm really intrigued by it. I love the casting. I think Reeve Carney sounds fantastic. Patrick Page, Page sounds great, which I just realised they would work together previously on Spider-Man. Um, which would be cool to see again. And I can already see perfectly how this ties in perfectly for Rachel, the, pre the director who, for who worked on um, Great Comet, because I definitely think there's similarities in, not, not the music, but possibly the storytelling and the way the story's going. I could see how she could definitely cast her eye over it and do something great with the music. So I'm excited to see what it, where Act 2 goes to, so I'm going to go straight into it because um, I am intrigued. Our Lady of the Underground. This musical doesn't seem to have that, where it starts off in a big number and ends in a big number, yada yada yada, which is my favourite type of musical theatre. But nonetheless, I do like it. But I just wanted to make that clear right now in case someone has misinterpreted any of my thoughts later on. Reminds me a little bit actually, I'm thinking now, Bandstand. A little bit of Bandstand, I'm starting to get a bit of... You know at the start of, um, sorry I'm pausing again, remember at the start of Act 2 of Bright Star they had the Entracte, I think, is that, is that how you pronounce it? Entracte or Entracte, whatever it is, right before um, Sun is Gonna Shine comes on and you had that moment where the band were on stage for Bright Star and they are playing in the, in the house and it gave all the band an opportunity to like have a bit of a solo and you gotta clap for them, this kind of feels like that. Way Down Hades Town 2, part 2. Oh. I can't even deny how much I'm enjoying this cast album. This music, the score is really, really great. Chant 2. Loving these voices. Some gorgeous singers here. Really nice. Epic 3. <laughs> you know why I'm smiling? Because every time I feel like... I've heard... A particular style on this show, I'm like, okay, that's like the last particular style I'm gonna hear. Like, I genuinely, and I hope people are hearing this, where I actually feel like the type of music throughout the show is changing a lot, and there's a lot of versatility in the score. And I'm smiling because I feel like I'm just hearing another part of the score. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so curious to see what theatre this takes. Because it doesn't sound like it would go into... This part sounds really stupid, but it doesn't sound like... And from what it particularly does go into the National Theatre, it doesn't sound like it's going to go into a typical Broadway house. So I'm thinking more like... Maybe Circle of the Square, but Circle of the Square already sounds too small for this. What theatre could go to? Words to the wise. His Kiss, The Riot. What is this? Kiss. Patrick Page's voice. Beautiful. So good. Where'd this come out of? Promises. Promises you made to me. And she says it two seconds after me. Oh, this sounds like something to me. Something from Pippin. Is that, no, not Pippin. Is it Pippin? It sounds like, um, you know that big just before the, the orgy scene? In the recent revival, those. It's called With You? Was it With You? It sounds like With You from Pippin? You know, the bit where he's singing to the acrobat? I hope that's what it is. The name of the song, I mean. 
Wait for me too. Who is this person? That's the first thing you know. It's great. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited to see more of the show. Doubt comes in. See what I mean? Now there's like these drums and I don't feel like I've heard these drums per se this far in this far. Road to Hell 2. So interesting because Road to Hell was the opening number. How 180? 360? 360. It's an old tale from way back when. What is this show? What is this show? Sing it again, sing it again. I want to hear it again. I want to hear it again. Yes. Sing it again. It's a railroad line on road to hell. We sing it anyway. Yeah, sing it, please. <laughs> again. Oh my goodness. I love this cast album. Can you hear it? Can you feel it like a train? Damn. Yes. Oh, that trumpet. Woo! Oh. My God. Okay. Hold up. Right. <laughs> this show... Oh my God. The way this show ended... Musically was just gorgeous. I'm so excited for this show. The score is so versatile. There's so many different types of genres of music in there. There's so many different instruments. It's not traditional. There's hints of traditional Broadway music. And then there's, you know, big jazz numbers and there's a little bit of pop almost thrown in there at times like acoustic cover or like an acoustic kind of pop song and it's so it meshes so well together i thought it was going to be predominantly jazz music throughout which i was excited for but i'm more excited for how they meshed everything together oh my goodness i'm genuinely excited for what's coming this production i'm probably going to go off now and jump on my laptop and YouTube as much of the show as I can. Because there is promotional footage out there. Um, but my goodness. Out of five. I would have to give it. Oh somewhere like between. I'd only give it a three and a half. Because. I feel like it deserves more. Somewhere between like three and a half and a four. I'm going to go out on a limb and give it a four out of five. Four stars out of five because it's quite different and I'm so intrigued and I'm so engrossed in the music. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece of work. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed another response, response, reaction, reaction to a cast album. I'm personally very excited to learn more about this production. But do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.